We have seen a lot of different types of flying, but I have never seen something like this. This looks crazy. Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman. It's early, I've got my big cup of coffee. We're gonna have a little coffee talk because I have seen a little bit of something exciting. So I saw today some of the first flight footage that I've seen from the new Superman movie, the James Gunn Superman movie coming out in 2025. So I wanted to share it with you all. So obviously over the years, we have seen a lot of awesome flying from the Superman movies, obviously starting with Christopher Reeve. Now, <laughs> flying has come a long way, right? So remember the George Reeves television show where it was literally, I mean, it was a lot of animation, uh, but it was also, it, uh, I shouldn't say this, you know, the, the George Reeves show actually kind of looked cool when it was just him and it was like the long shot of, of his profile and he was going, but... The actual takeoff was always a little bit funny to me. It was just like him running and jumping through a door or through a window or something. Uh, and it always just looked a little bit off. But, I mean, they worked with what they had. And I think it's charming. Then we move, of course, into the, the Christopher Reeve. So I'm just going to talk about the movies. The Christopher Reeve movies, of course, made us believe that a man could fly. You know, They had one specific type of rigging. And, you know, it... It looked great. I mean, it looks uncomfortable behind the scenes, but you know, it was it was a it was a harness, and he would ha get harnessed in with him or him and Lois. And other than Superman Four, really, you could never really see the strings of the harness or the green screen. Uh, then we move into Superman Returns, of course, which I've spoken about. It's a little bit more ballet esque, and you know, he had a, a, a certain type of rigging as well. It gave him a little bit more freedom of movement. So that he could have that ballet sort of, not ballet, but that more graceful type of flying. It certainly was a different type of flying than Christopher Reeve. Moving on into Henry Cavill. Now, there's a lot of CGI there, but he, of course, also had, a, a, again, a, a different type of rigging that gave him a little bit more freedom to move, I think, so that he could make faster movements and and really intense ones. So if you ever see the back, uh, behind the scenes there, you know, he's banking, he's doing this and that. And it just it just looks really good. Uh, and back to back to Christopher Reeve, you know, he had a background in it's like aerodynamic piloting, something or other. But it was his idea to put these type of movements in rather than just a stationary a stationary flight, which made all the difference in the world, and it really set the bar high. And that's now why we have the ability to keep progressing with what flight looks like. So. We have Henry Cavill, much more powerful flight, and we now move into the James Gunn, David Cornsweet style of Superman flying. Now, we have seen a lot of different types of flying, but I have never seen something like this. This looks crazy. So he's strapped into what looks like sort of just a rig. Like, it almost looks like a carnival ride, though, but it's just like he's just in this thing, and it's twirling him, and I'm like, whoa. Can you imagine, like, multiple takes in that thing? Like, that would be intense. I would be, like, just vomiting. Like, <laughs> that's like NASA stuff right there, right? And then, of course, we have another image of, of simply just jumping, and I think that there's a lot to be said about that. I think, you know, when you can do it practically like we're seeing here, even if it's something as simple as a jump, I think it automatically is going to make it look a lot better because the moment that you add CGI and the moment that you add all these special effects, the reality of it starts to dwindle a little bit. A little bit, 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 until it gets so dwindled that it's not something that looks real or that you can believe. So the more practical that we can get, <clears throat> like this rig, like this jump, I think is going to be good. I think we're in store for some really awesome stuff. I'm really excited to see where they go with it and how the flying actually looks. Uh, as soon as we get actual footage, I'm, I'm very excited about it. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this like spiral NASA toy that they've got going on. So it'll be cool to see where these actually pop up in the movie. But anyway, I wanted to come on and talk a little bit about that, a little bit of a history lesson for you with the other flying. And uh, I'm, 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 again, I'm, you know, costume aside, I'm still very excited for this movie to come out. I can't wait. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. Are you excited about this movie, or are you just kind of waiting for it? I think, I think we're in for something pretty awesome. So, anyway, I will continue to let you know what I find out and what comes out and 
where we're at with everything. I've got to imagine they're wrapping filming soon, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see when that happens. And again, I'm hoping that we see a trailer in late 2024. Who knows? Time will tell. But look, if you've liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding, ding. Make sure you follow me at Melbourne Superman on Instagram. Again, I have those member-only options, so remember if you want to get some exclusive footage or behind-the-scenes footage or footage that hasn't come out yet and you get early access, be sure to sign up for membership. They start at like $2.99 a month. It's really cheap. Really would help me out, keep the channel going. Really hope to see you there. So look, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.